I feel like I have not talked to you guys in such a long time. I know what you guys are probably thinking, the most noticeable change, I cut my hair. We're gonna get to all that. It's actually looking longer on camera, but uh, we'll discuss all that. We're gonna do life updates, chit chat, but I'm also going to be doing a makeup look that I did in my previous video um the anti haul a lot of you guys really liked that and i was really surprised because i was a little worried because it can kind of be seen as negative but you guys gave such a positive response so i just want to thank all of you guys for that and a lot of you guys felt the same way i felt so whew, i was kind of worried but i'm at ease now so yeah let's get into this get ready with me <sighs> let me zoom you guys in um so yeah let's talk about the most obvious so i did cut my hair um, I cut about four inches off. I think I told you guys in the how to grow my hair video that um, sometimes you just need to start over and that is what I did. I had a section in the back that was broken off to about here. So I told the guy who did my hair, just chop it all off. Like sometimes a fresh new start is what you need. And that's what we're also gonna be talking about in this video because I feel like 2017 just started today is the 11th I believe yes and oh it's been such a great year <laughs> like oh my god am I getting emotional it's been such a great year already and I just want to share some things with you guys and the last part of the year I believe around the first I had a dream um, I've been having pretty vivid dreams recently. I'm someone who usually never remembers their dreams. So in my mind, it's like I don't dream. I actually had a dream that, <laughs> this is gonna sound so crazy, but I had a dream that someone was about to murder me. I'm not gonna get too involved in the story, but um, I literally woke myself up right before this person was going to shoot me. Um, it was a crazy, crazy dream and I woke up all nervous and I was terrified. Like nobody wants to have a dream that they're dying. So I was really worried and <laughs> the first thing I did was Google like dream interpretations. What does this mean? And I was, I felt at ease knowing that having a dream like that means there's going to be new beginnings, new life, new opportunity. It's, it's not, it doesn't mean that you're gonna die. So I was happy about that. And ever since I've had that dream, things have just been going so well for me. I don't know if it's because I had that dream and now I'm in the mindset of thinking positively and that things are going to come to fruition or that that dream was really just preparing me for new beginnings and new what have you. Literally all the goals that I set for myself in January I've either accomplished them or they're in the works right now and oh, I could just like cry right now because you know things <laughs> don't always go the best for me but I've been having a really great month and I just feel like you know everything happens and it's perfect timing when it's supposed to happen so um, yeah it's just been a really great month for me. Mm. I can't, I obviously can't say everything right now, but I can't wait to um, see what's gonna happen and share all this newness with you guys. And yeah, I just, ah, it's so crazy. But I say all that to say that it's been a good, good month so far. And along with the new beginnings and new life and all that other stuff, I decided to cut my hair because I feel like I wanted a fresh start. And then with everything that's happening, I just feel like, all this stuff is changing around me. Why don't I adapt as well? And I, I really love my new haircut. I know it may seem, it may not seem like such a big deal, but um, I've had my hair long, really my whole life. I've only cut my hair to this length probably twice. Um, and every time I cut it to this length, I love it. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep my hair this length or what, but um, yeah, I just, I don't know I just I'm at a really good place right now in my life and what a great way to start off your year I just it's just awesome but let me do my brows because obviously I can't multitask but one second I want to thank you guys for all your sweet comments in the last video that I posted you guys had me cracking up I now love anti hauls like that was seriously such a fun video to film because it's like 
all of my thoughts on these products and I just get to be real with you guys. I mean, as much as I love a good haul, there really are certain things that I'm just not here for. And um, it's nice to know that you guys feel the same way because I don't feel like I'm just being a Debbie Downer. <laughs> like you guys honestly feel the same way. So I was so happy to see that. Um, so I hope you guys 2017 is off to a great start. Um, also, I have a lot of videos planned for this month and I've been putting up a lot of videos. So I hope it's not too much. I mean, you guys know, well, I don't know if this video is up yet. I don't think it is, but I have a formula for how I put videos on my channel. Like every month I like to do a tutorial or two. I like to do a product review, monthly favorites, some fun video, a vlog, a mukbang. So I have a formula, um, but then sometimes you guys will request things. Like a lot of you guys said you wanted a tutorial on this look. This wasn't a video I had planned. So I hope you guys don't feel like I'm putting out too many videos. Uh, I don't want it to be like every other day I'm putting out a video because that's a lot. But the truth is, I honestly love interacting with you guys. When I read comments, it just makes me so happy because I feel like I know you guys. <laughs> and I don't know, I just love it. So that's why if you ask for a video, more often than not, I'm going to record it. So this eye look that I did, it was loosely based around a makeup look that one of my friends here on YouTube did. Her name is Melissa. Her channel is Melissa Q, I believe. And um, she just did this really pretty sultry purple look with like a nudie, pinky, mauvey lip. It was so gorgeous. So um, that's how I came up with the concept of the makeup look. So right now I'm just using my NARS All Day Luminous. It's really horrible that I don't use um, foundation primer. My face is just so oily. And then more often than not, like when I do these videos, I'm not going anywhere. Like <laughs> if I were on vacation or if I were going out I would wear a primer but to sit around my house and cook and go grocery shopping or go see a friend like I'm gonna do after I film this like <laughs> I'm not putting on primer I really even shouldn't be using this expensive foundation but I just love the way it looks oh and I also want to say just because I cut my hair that doesn't mean that I'm going to be stopping the um what do you call it the what do we call it I can't think of the word, but the collection of videos on my channel dedicated to healthy hair care. Of course, now I can't call it long healthy hair care because I don't really have long hair anymore, but I will continue my healthy hair care series because you guys really like those videos. And honestly, it encourages me to take better care of my hair. Let's get back into this makeup look. I'm using my Master Palette by Mario. And you guys, this look only used two colors. So if you have this palette or color similar, you can achieve this look. I seriously always tell you guys, I like basic looks because I don't like spending a lot of time doing makeup. So I'm using the color Isabel. It is, it looks a little warmer in person. It's a warm tone terracotta brown color. So I'm basically laying this color down as a transitional shade so that when I apply the color that's gonna go on my lid, it's not such a drastic change from my skin tone in that color. So that's the um, the purpose of transitional shade. So the focal color for this look is my favorite in this palette. And none other than NYC, which is right there. Let me show you guys what that looks like. It's basically a purple shimmery burgundy color almost. And I'm just gonna put that on a fluffy crease brush. I'm gonna tap into it and then put it on my lid. I absolutely love this color. And I'm gonna blend it a little higher than my natural crease. I am getting a little fallout, but that's okay. I'm gonna blend it a little higher than my natural crease just because I'm only using two colors and I really want this color to stand out. So that is basically the look right there. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into that first brush I used, which is this 
slow down. <laughs> This is my favorite crease brush. This is the Sephora Pro Smoky Crease number 31. I like it because it's very dense yet fluffy in terms of being soft and it's dome shaped and it's dual fiber. It just really blends out color beautifully. I found out about this brush when I was working at Sephora from Katie. Hey girl, if you're watching. So I'm gonna go back into Isabelle, tap off the excess product and then just blend over the top of NYC. So you see the difference between that and that. This looks more diffused and there's a more transition of color. Um, whereas my left eye is just very stark. Now let's do some concealer. I'm gonna use my Tarte Tape Shape, my favorite. Okay, so this is my Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer. See how that just kind of helps my face out? I love this bronzer. I always use a little across my nose to kind of do a quick contour. And then I'm going to do my double chin. I just love bronzer. Oh gosh. I can't wait until it's the spring and summer and I can get my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze because that's like my favorite summer bronzer ever. It just makes you look orangey, but I think in the summertime that is so pretty. Okay, now we're gonna finish the eyes. So on the bottom, on the inner corner, what did I do? On the bottom outer corner, I'm gonna use Isabel on like a pencil brush. And I'm just gonna smudge that under there. If you guys have been watching for a, lot, a while, I really like doing this step. I'm so nasally right now. I really like doing this step because it just helps to bring the look together, I think. So if you feel like you're not that great with eye makeup, try duplicating what you did on the top underneath because that really helps to pull together the look. And then I'm gonna go into, so here's Fifth Avenue. Really pretty color. And then I'm gonna go into Violetta, which is a mid-tone, well, a neutral brown. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner. I really haven't used all these colors. I've never used Lula, Paris, Bronx, Muse, Marina, or Claudia. Because the other colors I'm just so in love with. But I need to um, start using this palette more. For my bottom lash mascara, I'm going to use this Buxom, which is so awesome. I think it's called, yeah, the Buxom Lash Mascara in Blackest Black. This is why I like sampling things at Sephora because I would have never thought to try this mascara and I actually got this from my friend. Okay, these are the Ardell 601s. I'm gonna apply these off camera and then come back. You guys, I love this song. I did a better job applying these today. I'm not used to them because I've been using the House of Lashes and the band is thicker. Come on, play this song, I love it. This is Nars Gina. Mexico, where am I now? Mexico. This is so pretty. Mm -hmm. I party with the real Madonna. The numbers and remain humble. I try to cut pushes, I'm so used to this. I'm so used to this. I know where I'm from, but I got used to this. Next, we're gonna do highlight Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow. My favorite. I do want to try some Artist Couture highlights this year. Tina Marie raves about um, La Bronze by Jackie Aina, I believe. Oh, I was about to put that above my lip. <laughs> I do not need my lips looking any bigger. The lippy that I wore was NARS Audacious and Anita. <laughs> but yeah, guys, this is the look. The finished look. I love the eyes. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my chit chat get ready with me. I feel like I was really able to just talk to you guys about all the things that have been going on in my life that I can tell you about. And yeah, I just, I like these videos because it's kind of like a vlog, but get ready with me as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, please leave them down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.